Hello and welcome to Our Crazy Life. Our Crazy Life. Hi, everybody. It's been, I, I, I would say, I would say, I would say last week was pretty crazy. Extremely crazy. We've had a lot of crazy things happen and then ending was fam- fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. On my birthday, which was Wednesday, May 1st. So your 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 kids, all three of your kids took you up. To lunch. To lunch to a and group as, restaurant. Yes, and that, you, I don't care, you could... You could give me a million dollars, and that was it was still being with my three kids would be better than a million dollars because no, true because as a mother you uh, probably uh, see uh, things different uh, as okay, your okay. father. You t- you let the kids take you out for uh, lunch, and I'll let them give me a million dollars. Okay, anyway, because oh, I didn't mean to kick the thing, but because you know as your kids grow, they're adult children now, so I know they're that adults, they're adult children. <laughs> they're those adult children we've heard. Because so you know about. you know parents that have adult children, it's you don't get the opportunities to spend as much time with them. <laughs> Shut up, please. Anyway, so you don't get the opportunity to spend a lot of quality time with them, no, and I no. got to spend it with all three of them, and they were just just you know I, I sat when I sat there. Can I talk? It's still my birthday week, isn't it? As I sat there and I watched my three kids and then my granddaughter was with me also. You just look around and you're just watching them and you see them interact and you see the whole thing and, and you just go, wow. I used to have to wipe their butts. No, I was like, wow. No, I not too you were shabby. I really thought they would all be like serial killers because we were, I don't know, we were the greatest parents. I didn't think serial killers. Okay, what'd you think? Maybe, you know, car thieves or something. <laughs> no, we're Bank ki- robbers. We're, we're, we're kidding. But anyway, we're kidding. Um, but uh, I I, uh, I was, a, not that I want to toot my own horn, but uh, it was a, because sh- you shouldn't toot your own horn. But uh, I, Three I was, for three, I think. Three, I, three I'm, for three, not They're bad. not perfect. Um, no, nobody, no ch- nobody's no perfect. perfect. But when I looked around and enjoyed and had No my, adult children are perfect. I just was like, this is awesome. Should and, adult children be driving cars? And then I got to go. Well, yeah, yeah, go ahead and finish. And then I got to go. Then after that, we came back here. Did I we, drove. You drove. And we went out to take go with Kayla for her, because her husband's in the Air Force Reserve. So it was his week. He, last week. It this was week, his week to get away from her. No, it's just two weeks of serving. He has three weeks to serve, but he did two weeks this month. So he serves um, at the... Um, <laughs> Air Force Base out here, wherever that is here. It's out by Fayetteville, isn't it? No. Oh, no anyway, I don't know. when he said the name, I was like, oh, there's the Air Force Base. Anyway, so she's like, would you go with me to go to my OB appointment? She's like 21. And, and I said I would drive. You said you would drive because it was my birthday and Your you're birthday. like, it's not fair. And then we had to take her all the way back to Wendell. Um, and it sounds so far, but it was a good 40 minutes. And but what was funny, though, is she goes, as she was talking back and forth, she goes, and Dad, you can't come on. You can't come in. And I go, oh, darn, I can't. She knew. Well, like I wanted to come in. And, I know. That's not so I, like. I got to go in, got to hear Hayden's heartbeat, which got me a little emotional. Hayden like, Llewellyn. Then we go back to the, we, she goes to check out. And so I was like typical, like pain in the butt mother. Oh and my then, God. I just, both of us were like, all right, you need to stop. Yes. You I think why we're talking about me, weren't they? Afterwards. Oh, they were. Because you were asking question after question. And they're like going, we're just a receptionist. We're, we don't no, know. because it's my baby. And I want to Not make... that they're just a receptionist, but they, they weren't the doctors. I mean, they, Anyway. You were with the doctor. Ask the doctor. Maybe I might have crossed the boundary. I shouldn't have crossed. So that was a great enjoyment. So then we went and then we... And the whole and the funny thing is the whole way, because I, I don't drive as much anymore. And so when I do drive, and you if you've heard me complain before on, on the podcast, of like that, I don't like people that text and drive. No, you don't. And so this is what you were seeing the whole time. Looking down, looking up. I don't know. There's someone texting and driving. There's someone. So the whole time I'm complaining about the driving. Yes, you are. Um, so then we drop her off, and then we thought we'd be funny with our other daughter. They live on the same street, six houses apart. We thought we would be funny at her Nest uh, doorbell camera, so we were being a little obnoxious. I went out and flipped it off and was yes. just making faces. So then we're it. driving back. Driving and, back. Uh, we're driving back. And so my birthday, and we were yeah, we were going to eat. Your birthday didn't change at all from that. It was still your birthday. It wasn't and that so long a drive. We stop at the stoplight, and we're, we're sitting stopped. there. We're just sitting there. And then uh, we hear this screeching sound. You hear a screeching sound. We're like going, huh. I, I looked right. I look We're left. looking around trying to figure out where the action is going to happen. And then I look, I, look, I look over here, and all of a sudden, bam, bam! And she goes, it was us! We got rear-ended. Rear-ended pretty good. Pretty uh, he good, knocked yes. us about a good 10 to 12 feet. Gets out and says the uh, sun was in his eyes. We all stopped. Even though all the cars on either side of us were, were stopped. stopped. Um, I was feeling a little dizzy, because if you don't know, I passed out about a year ago. That was a year yeah, ago? June. Uh, I guess they figured out the pain in my back sometimes gets so bad that it accelerates my blood pressure, and then I just... So I was feeling pretty, but it was her birthday, so I'm trying to suck it up. 
Yeah, but they called... They called I made him call the EMS. Well, the cop heard the act. He was about a block away. He heard the act. The accent. officer, I'm sorry. Heard the... And came over. He, he said, I go, no, I'm good, I'm good. But then I'm starting to go, I'm, I'm going to go down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass out. So they called the EMT. We get two fire trucks, EMT ambulance, and we had the cop... I said, all this for us? This little tiny accident? Well, it wasn't a like, tiny accident. But my blood pressure was, what, 193 over 106? Yes. But I decided to not go to the hospital. I said, no, it's your birthday. Well, yeah, and I kept saying to him... If he dies, he dies. No, I said, what difference does it make? It's my birthday. I'd rather you be alive than not be alive. That would be a horrible thing to be dying on my birthday. I don't remember you saying that. But then your blood pressure came down to like 153 over 102. So I signed a release. Signed a release. And then by the time we got home and you ate and sat for a while, it was like 135 over like 80 something. Still pain in my neck, shoulder, and I have a little bit of... uh, uh, vertigo, I think, right on here. Like <laughs> everything's cool, but the car's drivable, the car's and drivable. everybody's good. And luckily, well, you said because we had our daughter who was twenty months pregnant in the 20 car. Twenty months? No, don't tell her. That's a whole time. That's a long time. Being twenty weeks, twenty one weeks. Oh, twenty. Yeah, twenty months. I guess would be a long time. She set a record. No, twenty weeks pregnant. Twenty one. Twenty one weeks pregnant. So we're we are thankful she wasn't in the car because who knows? I mean, it yeah. was it was quite a jolt. Quite a you know. Like, again, he had his young son in the front seat, so we were happy. He was okay. Everybody was. Physically, for the most part, okay. Yeah. Except for me, but that's that's yeah, okay. But uh, so we had that was fun. So we got to deal with all that. Yeah. So, uh, but then we ha- we had the Jay and Jack get together this weekend. Oh, that's right. Which is always I fun. About that. Always oh, a, it was good a lot time. of fun. God, it's amazing. What amazes me is the kind of there are all different kinds of people, all different kinds of opinions. I'm sure they have their philosophies and stuff, and they all just. Just a great bunch of people, and they get along so yeah, well. There's no click, and there's, there, no, there's no fighting. There's, there's no issues. And I think there were more people this year than last year. And Jane Colleen do do the hosting. They at do their phenomenal. House. They have a great house for parties. Great party house, um, and they had a great time. Some of the older people like us don't spend all day like we're not all there all, the whole time. No, we can't do it. But uh, we were there Friday night, so we had our young. Well, we went out to eat at Carbones. Queso Carbones, who Chip and Sarah Mim set up. Yes, uh, the, which is nice, and they really nice. And they, Another it, great. They also couple. do on Saturday. They have a uh, tour of their men's distributing. Men's distributing. But uh, what was funny though is we had our granddaughter because our daughter is a teacher volunteered to. Uh, well, she, I don't think she had a choice. She has to, you know, as a teacher, they have after school care stuff that they have to do. So she did some, because their job as a teacher isn't hard enough. I know. So they don't work, she, they don't work she uh, had to do a not. Ha- I make sound bad, but. They have required hours. They have to do additional to whatever so what else they you, do. You have to do. So it. she did. Um, the, a play, took tickets what? for a play. She goes, do you mind taking I said, no, we'll just take her with we're us. We're going to mind taking our yeah, granddaughter with us. We'll take her with us because the other two, our two grandsons were there. Yeah. And, uh, Zach and Alex. And so we're, we're taking her there and as I'm trying to get her in the car seat. Because us old people still have difficulties with these kids, these fangled new car seats. So I had my wallet and phone in my hand. For some reason, I put my phone in my pocket and put my wallet on top of the on car. On top of the car. I'll get it back. But then I was having problems with some of the the seatbelt and the the mirror that you have to have for her to see so you can see her you know because you have right. to have a mirror to see the child um which i guess works so we get in the car we drive we drive to queso carbones we get there and we're meeting everyone we're on and the, then you know what he says to I, me, get, I get out of the car i go do you have sid do you have my wallet why would i have your wallet so i left it on top of the car yes and so a nice gentleman came back and returned it uh, he did his agreement. Well, in the meantime, we were at the restaurant, and I'm calling all the places to trying to cl- lock or cancel and do all the trying luckily to remember all the cards we that were in his wallet. We don't have a lot of cards. No, we don't. So, so, but, I mean, we're supposed to be the ATM, and we don't, and we don't want to lose a dollar in the ATM. No, so so. It was, uh, so that was a smart move by by me putting the wallet on top. But it wasn't until we, we got there. I went, "Do you have my wallet?" Yes. I look where I always put it, and I go, "It wasn't there." Yeah. I, I don't drive with it in my pocket. No, you don't. And uh, so, yeah, I lost my wallet, but then it was returned, so that was good. Yes. At least I had my life. But it was so cute, too, because we got there, and then, of course, the two gr- the grandson, Zachary, who was just my little joy, too, he comes running up to me. He always says that. Like I said, he makes me feel like I'm worth a million dollars the way he gets so excited to see me. I mean, God, to be able to, to have that excitement, you know, someone so excited to see you, it's just such a warm I get the love. same. I, get I the know same. you, too. Every, every time you come home, I'm like... No, you don't. Anyway, um, so he was so good with Ava. He was so sweet with yeah. her. I, I know, I'm sure he's not that way with his brother, but with his cousin Ava. Well, Alex was a little. Alex, Alex is like Jay. They, they I, I'll post a picture of Alex, Alex. at, at the. Uh, I'll put it at the end of the. He thing. He is his son Jay's uh, dad. Jay, I mean, he's like his dad. I can't believe Jay stays up as late as he does for these things. Because when we were talking about, we went to Disney World. We took the whole family to Disney World a few years ago. And in 2012. 2012. And so we would all go down to the... 
Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi with beer and, you know, you know whatever you could take, you know, whatever you're allowed to take down there. And Jay would be, it'd be 8 o'clock, 8.30. Jay goes, I'm already in my pajamas. I'm done for I'm the done, night. I'm done for the night. I'm going to bed. I think one time out of the seven we days got, we were there, we got, we got him to got, come out. His wife would go. Yeah, because she's, she's a lot of fun. She likes to go out and have parties. But but Jay was like, so I can't believe he stays up late with all the Right, but his son him. Alex is just like him. When it's his bedtime... I, I held him in my arms and he was out. Out. Zach yeah. is running all. Yeah, Zach's like his mom. Yeah, he, you even if he's sick, that kid's running all the little. Little Energizer Bunny. Yeah. And then he even had to go out and get ice cream afterwards. What I kept calling it, poop cream. Yes, you did. Call I it said, poop you're cream. gonna get some poop cream. It's not poop cream, Papa. I want <laughs> strawberries. Yes. Then we were playing uh, uh, Connect the whatever that is, Connect Four, but we play Zachary's rules. Are oh, you playing Connect Four? Yeah, they had a big old Connect Four oh, I did, there I did at not the know ice cream that. place. Well, you were so socializing. I was playing with um, Zach. Anyway. So uh, that was a lot of fun. So the next day, we got to go see finally Zachy's T ball game. T ball game. That yes. was so exciting. So you got a half hour practice. Well, we get there, and it's like it's soccer field. All you see is soccer. So field. I thought we were wrong. So a guy that works there, his last name was Staff, because it was on the back of his shirt. <laughs> and I go, "Well, Mr. Staff." He goes, "He goes, yeah." He, well, he goes, he said, "I said, well, he goes, are you looking for that?" I go, "Yes, Mr. Staff. I'm looking for the baseball fields." He goes. He goes, well, just go to that tent right over there, and that they'll tell you exactly where to go, where, where you have to go. I go, okay. And she's arguing with me. Yeah, I was arguing with you. She, I go, look, he just said, to, I go, All right, you know what? You stay here. I'm going to go to the tent, because that's what he told me to do. And for, as we were walking over the tent, we could see Colleen, and we yes. saw Zach and, yes. and stuff. So we were in the right location, yes. but someone was a little stubborn. And so we got to go see his game. He was so adorable. Yeah. I mean, just to see that again, you know, um, he's a great runner. He got his, and I, not to put our poor son down, but he got his running skills from his mother. Oh, he had to. Yeah. He had to. Um, but, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever seen, seen Colleen run, but I'm just assuming yeah, she we're assuming, better than Because Zach so. is a great runner. And then this guy, Papa... Who is the most, when Jay was playing baseball, t-ball, and when he played Little League, he was like so staunch about everything, would give me a hard time if I even talked to Jay, to encourage him. Like, You're he was like, again. You'd stop it. You're I wasn't allowed to go again. up to the dugout. I was like, I was like, basically just like, not be who Let I am. Because if anybody knows me, I'm all in everybody's business. I do not sit back. I have, I, I like to be involved. I like I to did, encourage. You're close to me right now. I know, huh? I like to say great things. <laughs> I like to give him some attaboys. He's having difficulties. You know, the worst, probably, you know, I was the worst skating mom and my daughter skated. Oh, God, I'm like the yeah. worst kind of parent that you want. So anyway. Your so kids not, quit skating because of you. Probably. So anyway, uh, I, I won't lie, probably. Um, but anyway, so we're at the t-ball game. And guess what this was doing? Zach's out on the outfield and he's talking to him. Hey, Zach. 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 He's not, not, not like. I was, trying at, to get, I was trying to get a picture. Anyway, he wasn't at the sideline. He's in the foul territory, almost on the game. I was not a, almost no, on the field. No, no okay, no. to the point where our son said, "Papa, are we going to take your car, your grandpa card away so you can't see his game?" <laughs> it, it was. I thought it was hilarious. This guy. That's what Jay said. This guy. What is with this guy? <laughs> because you know, it is funny to see us as grandparents compared to parents because we're definitely, definitely opposite. But this guy is really opposite as a, from a parent to a grandparent. Well, I someone, mean, night and day. Someone at the party goes. You guys are great grandparents. I said, no, it's just it's as easy. Yes, it's just easier. Yeah, you, it is you easier. You just have to. You don't. You know. You just spoil them. Yeah. It's the old saying. You just spoil them, and then, and then you, you get them back. Get them back, and, so. and then then poor little Alex. So then after that, Zach said to me, which we weren't going to do anything afterwards. I think we were going to come back, kind of chill, and then go yeah. back out again. Because we had we had the chips uh, the thing, right? So he's like. Papa, Gigi, do you want to come to Chick-fil-A with us and have lunch? Now, how would we say no to that? And who doesn't turn down Chick-fil-A? Well, first of all, Chick-fil-A, and second. And then he wanted to sit by us. So, of course, again, we felt special. Yeah. You know, of course, you know, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, so we got to do that. And then I realized that Alex needed to take a good nap. And I know Colleen and Jay, they like to have fun. And, you know, they deserve to have a good time. They work hard. They're it's, good it's, parents. You think people like to have fun? And anyway, so I we, don't think. I've so seen we, them. I don't think they we like We took Alex fun. back to our house and he slept for a couple hours. So we thought he would just sleep for a couple hours and we'd get out there. Because it was starting at 3. Their, their Thing was starting at 3. three. I said, well, we should be out there by 3.30. Well, he fought with his. Well, we had the fish tank on, and he was talking to the fish. We didn't he know. He fell asleep like, about three forty-five. We thought it was probably better to probably turn off the light. Yes. But he was fighting it and all the different stuff. So it took him about forty-five minutes to fall asleep, and then once he fell asleep, he slept for two hours. Yeah. So we didn't get back out there till like six thirty. We got out there as they were leaving. Yes. So then out. So then we were just going to go home. Say okay, let the let the kids go right party and have right. fun. We'll just go home. And then Jackie's like. You're not coming over to our house to have pizza? Well, he goes, I want to ride with Papa Gigi. 
and Jay goes, I don't know if they're even, well, yeah, you can do that. And, and he came running up to because you were behind me. Yeah. And I go, you got to ask Gigi. You know, that, and she, of course, well, so we went. It was a good time. We and, you know, got time. to see people. It was, yeah. It was fun and, you know, everything was like that. And then yesterday, of course, we all watched Game of Thrones. I didn't. I stay home by myself. Yeah. On my birthday week. Well, you don't like Game of Thrones. So. No, I don't. And I didn't want to be up late because I got to get up at five. And I wasn't going to make two trips. I don't blame you. Sorry. I understand it's, completely. It's not. I'm, so saving, we, I'm saving the environment. You are. So we're having, we, we had a great weekend with kids. We had a lot of fun. We did have a car accident, but hey, we're all together. Everything's it okay. Been, it could have been, been far worse. Now, this camera's spinning around for me, but that's okay. I know. Poor I, little I, guy. I, I can still see it. Good. Good. Anyway. <laughs> But it was a good week. Yeah. I mean, it just it's you know, getting in an accident is never fun. But it, like I said, it could have been a lot. At it, least he st- tried to stop. He did try to stop, and it, I mean, it was an accident. It like he aimed for us and did it on purpose. I mean, no. it is what it I'm is. I'm pretty sure he was on his cell phone. I think you. I, I think you're I, right. I or talking to his son, not paying attention. Either way, he because he, you know anybody that has kids in a car, you, if you're, it's hard to stay focused. You know, I, I remember I'm almost rear-ending someone because I was yelling at my kids in my van in the back of them doing something. When I, was I down, never, I never yelled. When I was down to La Jolla driving. for their doctor's visit, there I almost ran into somebody. So you were probably just angry. No, I was yelling at the kids. They were goofing around like they usually do, fighting goofing with around. each other, goofing around. Yeah. So anyway, but that was our week. Um, I don't know how you doing on your weight. You're, you're exercising. Is it going good? Just the same. I've been the same. I haven't changed much. I'm still like down to what I. Kind of I'm, about, I'm about the same. I'm still like at 183 and a half. So, well, yeah. I'm still skinnier than you. Oh, it's not a contest. It is a contest. Oh, it is a contest. But that, that's all we got. Again, we forgot to say in the beginning subscribe, tell a I friend. I do that every time. Please subscribe. Uh, uh, Please hit the like button if you like us. Someone share. gave us a thumbs down. Boo. Right? A couple weeks ago, we got thumbs. Oh, it was your cooking one. I know. They which, must not liked it. Me. Maybe they didn't like my recipe. Yeah, so. That's okay. It's Everybody all right. has it's, their own opinion. One thumbs down out of. All the other ones, it's no big deal. No. It's just someone's opinion. Yeah. But I, I wish that, I always said like when we, an iTunes review or someone like that, I just wish they would contact you personally and say, you know, because you, you can email us, you can put a comment in the comment section True. and I'm, I'm not, I'm not sensitive anymore. I'm <laughs> you were when we first started podcasting, but you aren't now. No, I mean, I think it just, well, I think, I think, I think refereeing and Yeah, I think refereeing definitely. It just, you get, you have to be, you develop a thick yeah, skin I or a thicker you. skin. But I would agree with you. Again, we're not perfect. Well, God, some of us are, but uh, no, we're not far from perfect. That's all we got. Hopefully, we'll have another game next week for Zachary, and yes, and this week maybe uh, someone will stay off the field this time and not bug him. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, but that's all we got. Have a great week, you guys. Uh, see you next week. Thank you for listening or listening and watching. And please, if you like us, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and share with a friend. We really would appreciate it. Again, like we said, your name is not shared with anybody. It doesn't go anywhere. Just if you subscribe and do that, it just gets our numbers up and we're trying to do this little fun channel with us. So yeah. anyway, hope yeah. you're having a good, hope you will have a great week and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.